Hi, this is Vladimir, and today I want to talk about Docker. It's been almost 10 years since this technology was introduced, and if you haven't yet Dockerized your first application, this material is for you. Building a Docker image is an extremely easy task. In this video, I will show you how to Dockerize an application in less than 3 minutes. To make it more like a challenge, I will use this stopwatch and measure how much time it will take for me to perform this demo. Without further ado, let's start. Sorry, I forgot to mention. I will assume that you already have Docker installed on your computer. If you don't have it yet, pause the video now and install Docker Engine using these instructions from this website. Links are in the description. Let's have a quick look at the application. It's a simple Node.js server that returns the welcome to my store message as a response to each GET request. We will run it locally and see how it works. Here it is, welcome to my store. When we start the application and refresh the browser tab, the web page is no longer available. Let's create our Docker file. It is extremely simple. It only contains three lines. From is used to specify the base image or the source image which our container will be based upon. Copy is used to put the source code inside the container. And CMD will run the application as soon as the container starts. Also, let's modify our source code so we can notice the difference when we run our application next time and check the browser again. Now let's use docker build to assemble our image. Minus T option is used to provide the name and dot means build in the current directory. While we are waiting for the container to finish building, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends. Your support really matters for me and motivates me to move forward. Our image is ready, now it's time to run it. The command that we use is docker run. The minus T option means attached to the container terminal. This is needed when we would like to check container logs. The minus D option means the container will run in the background or in a so-called daemon mode. And minus P option means port forwarding. It's needed so we can access the application from outside our container using the web browser. Let's check our stopwatch, and the final result that we got is 2 minutes and 26 seconds. That's how you dockerize an application in less than 3 minutes. If you were able to do it faster, let me know in comments. If you enjoyed the video, please support the effort by giving a like and subscribing. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and connect with me on LinkedIn. All links are in the description. Thank you for watching, and good luck!